Now, come on. Let's let the kids learn properly. I'm sorry. That's the way I feel. Thanks for calling, Kim. Okay, next caller. Good morning. You're on Hockey Talk Back. Oh, uh, yeah, hi, Bob. This is uh, Murray from uh, Fish Haven. I've uh, seen every All-Star tournament since uh, 1965, and I've seen how th uh, those boys get trained. And I was thinking uh, maybe we should raise some money and send Coach Liebert and some of the better players over to Russia and see how they train there. Okay, Murray, that's an interesting point. Let's talk about it. Russia. They got some innovative techniques. I understand they can teach chickens to live underwater. But let's face it, they got a whole different system over there, Murr. And let me ask you something, Murray. How would you feel if the government told you that your five-year-old boy had to go to play hockey? That's the way they do it over there, you know. Let's bet you wouldn't feel too good about it. Sorry, Murray, that's the way I feel. I'm sorry, I don't want to talk about it anymore. What are you doing up so early? The ice is in. Oh. Oh, Bradley called last night. Yeah? Yeah, he got thrown out of the game against Peterborough. Punched the referee in the face. Hey, Bum, it's Curtis here from North Bay. Yeah. Have a good practice. Have him suck on a frozen doorknob. Okay, Curtis, there's a point of view. Tell you what I think. Sour grapes. I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. Star. I'll see you down there later. What's the matter with you? Try us out for another week. I told you. It's hopeless. Lots of fresh air, wide open spaces, a real sense of community. You two don't know how lucky you really are. Look at the face out. Come on, Kathy. Buck up. We have landed on the moon. Look at the face out. Laura! Settle. Hey, Laura. kitchen utensils anywhere. Kath? Is the rest of the car unpacked? Not yet. Laura, please take these in your room and unpack them in there.
your guitar? Yeah. You're from the city, aren't you? How's Queen Street? <sighs> Fine, I guess. I was down there last summer. Amazing! What a zoo! You ever go to the Rivoli? My cousin got me in. She plays lead for stale blood. Ever heard of him? Purple hair? Spite? I've never heard of them. They're really big on Queen Street. Well, what do you play? Different stuff. I'm very heavy into rock. My name's Evelyn. I live over there. Kathy Yarrow. Welcome to the armpit of North America. Now here, your brother went down against Peterborough. I thought your brother was a West driving the demolition derby. Well, that's what Allinger says. Allinger? I didn't say that. He's with the Oshawa Generals, isn't he, Spear? What'd he go out there for? Oshawa hasn't won the cup in five years. Why do you think they wanted Brad? Besides, they offered him the best deal. Hey, Spear, come here. It's Leeper. He's with the A&P girl. I don't know. I don't think she's so attractive. I mean, no cheekbones at all. Oh, my God. Oh, I think the car is way better looking. Hey, Coach, were you invited to the wedding? You all set for the tryout Saturday, Spear? Good boy. Gurney wants to know if she has a sister. You guys. The All-Stars. Where you been, huh? I see Spear on the ice. I see Spear getting in shape. Hey, Buck. Yo. What the heck have you been doing all summer? Don't you know what that donut will do to your cardiovascular system? It poisons it. <laughs> Genius. What do you think, guys? Should I put a donut junkie in goal this year, huh? I'm the only goalie you got. Turner's got mono. Hey, buddy, nobody's guaranteed a position on the team. Gotta be in shape. That goes for the rest of you hot dogs. Nice going, brown nose. How you doing? Okay. Okay, okay, or okay, not so good. Okay, a bit of both. How about you? Okay. Summer. The place is crawling with guys. I'm totally serious. Parties on the beach every night. But this time of year, forget it. Dead city. Unless you like watching the boys play hockey. Well, what do you do for fun? They haven't invented it yet. When's your dad coming up anyway? He's not coming up. Oh. Divorced, huh? Separated. Same thing. I guess. Was it one of those real messy ones? There must be something to do around here. See, that's Spear. That's pretty cute. For a hockey player. You ready to go yet? What about the girls' team? Serious? You play hockey? I used to. Do yourself a favor. Don't tell anybody. I had the most unbelievable day today. <laughs> You know, I have 35 kids in my class, and all of them have braces and pimples. I was terrified. But the other teachers are very supportive. Oh, 
And I also have my very own parking space with my name, Alice Yarrow, in big red letters. How about them apples, eh? That's great. And I met Laura's teacher, who's wonderful, and she found him. How is your day? How'd you make out? Fine. That's it? Fine? No gossip, news, innuendo? Come on, Kathy, how was your school? Okay. When are we gonna have a real meal? Try New Year's. Kathy, let's try and make an effort to have things go smoothly for a change, eh? Well, what am I supposed to do around here? I don't know. What do other kids do around here? <laughs> Nothing. Kathy, I can't figure out my life for you. It's not easy for me. I haven't taught school in 10 years, and it's not easy for Laura either. You're just going to have to cope. What about hockey? Mom, I'm not 12 years old anymore. Besides, they don't even have a girls team. Fine. Then just stay in your room until you're old enough to go to university. Are you crazy? That's all those guys ever do. Skate and shoot. I'm serious, you're never gonna live it down. We were city champions last year. Yeah, in a girls' league. <coughs> hey, Evelyn. Seat Sailor Kingston this week. Pass it on. The loser's four. Oh, you must be Evelyn's bodyguard. <laughs> McLean, give it a rest. Excuse me, would you mind passing the sugar? If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Evelyn, that's the oldest gag in the world. Oh, you guys are such a jerk. I'm lying, God is ugly. Fuck are you? That's the sad fact of it, Kath. Hockey players are just not normal. It's in their genes or something. Wait till summer, really. Hi, Evelyn. How's it going? Fine. Well, uh, bye. Cute or what? Here's how I do it. My son Lance has tried out four seasons and has never gotten a chance to play now, it seems to me. That there are lots of players who are Okay, now that's a good point. Hey, Ernie, wait up. Stop. <laughs> They're Andrew, very competitive. <laughs> and sometimes we don't give our own kids a fair catch. Okay. <laughs> As the triad <laughs> system may <laughs> now, I put the question to you. Call me up. Let me know how you feel. I'm from John. Okay, guys, listen up. Lion 1 will be Ollinger, McLean, and Kozak. 2 will be Langley, Buford, and Hamilton. Three will be Dupre, Furt Langer, and Whittleson. We'll do some one on ones and some give and goes. Okay. Good me sister said she'd trip for the whole team this year if we beat North Bay. She did not. Forget it, Goodman. There's nothing to see anyway. There is so. I don't want to see any of you guys who played last year slacking off, okay? You new guys do the best you can. We'll see you out there. Okay, let's go. Can I help you? I'd like to try out. We don't have a girls' team here. I know. Uh, let me see. There's a girls field hockey team over at the school. You can give that a shot. Scarborough Hawks, city champions two years running. 2.1 goals against average. Nine regular season shutouts. MVP in divisional finals. And a fast glove hand. Hey, Buck. She's a goalie. All right. You can change in the washroom.
the wash and the voice is broken. I gotta go real bad. He's not kidding. Please open the door. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, one at a time. Pick your hole and remember, keep your head up. All right, guys, look good, look sharp. Let's go. Where'd you learn how to play hockey? My dad taught me. Woo! I made the team. What? I made the team. I made the team! 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 I want to see mindless dedication to physical perfection. Come on, let's go. All right, first one down to the docks wins the washer dryer. Good luck. stuff for? I don't know. What difference does it make? You had me beat. Hey, coach! I found them! They're alive! Would you rather be alone? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, Bill, everything's gone up. Ice time is killing me. Sticks, pucks, sweaters, tape. Of course I need more money. Everything's going up. Do we have a winner? What's your guess? Well, it's a little early to say. Definitely have some talent out there, though. What about North Bay? We're going to take them this year? I hope so. Who's that kid? Remember Brad Kozak? Kozak. That nutcase drove the boat down Main Street? That's his kid brother, Spear. Kid scored 86 goals last year, Bill. Pretty sharp. He's hot. Okay, fellas, four weeks we got the big tournament with North Bay. Now, they beat us pretty bad last year, so we gotta be real hungry. Between now and then, we got two other tough games. If you're gonna make any mistakes, Make them in practice. Yeah, Newt North Bay. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Didn't mean to interrupt. All right, guys. 
Some of you may remember me from last year. I'm Bill Moss. I've been sponsoring this team for hell, a long time. As a matter of fact, I gave some of the pretty big names in hockey their start right here in this arena. So remember, when you walk through this door, you're not just hockey players. You're all stars. And that carries with it a certain amount of responsibility. The eyes of the whole community, remember, are on you. But if you play hard, if you work hard, if you're winners, then you'll have something that nobody can ever take away from you. Herpes. Pride, <laughs> self-respect, and a place in that great tradition of all-star hockey. Now, you do it. Good-looking bunch, will you? <laughs> Same speech every year. <laughs> well, officially, of course, uh, the league's position is, uh, well, uh, as the law states. I mean, there isn't a girls' team in the area, so, uh, strictly speaking, she, uh, she would be entitled to play on a boys' team. Uh, Unofficially, however, and uh, this is based on past experience, we do try to discourage girls from trying out. I mean, uh, it does affect the caliber of play. And we found that parents can be a little sensitive to co-ed activities, uh, especially at that age. It's nothing personal against the girl, Willie. Just for the sake of the game, I think Kevin's right. What you're saying, Kevin, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that there's nothing to prevent her from playing, officially, right? Well, yeah. The but... point is, Willie, if you keep her on the team, you're asking for trouble. Well, why don't we cross that bridge when we come to it, Bill? Gentlemen, I've got a game to play. your brother? Nine times out of ten of us to get him out of trouble. Spear. Play the game both hands. Hustle. See you later, guys. be a second prize, a complimentary dinner for two at the romantic Fish Haven restaurant. He goes straight to Mr. Lumber. And that's because Mr. Lumber has every one of your home hardware and building. Cat! Oh, hi! So come First on game, down today. pretty scary, huh? This week only. Yeah, I'm Press really late. Good luck! Right Thanks a lot! Oh, you're home in following the second period of All tonight's right. game. Let's talk hockey. Okay. What about Aurelia? They were strong last year. They got good facilities down there. They got a lot of community support. If they're traditionally weak in any area, it's muscle. Okay, enough said. Bill, what about our own Mr. Lumber Mine and Bantam All Stars? Well, I'm looking forward to a very exciting season. <laughs> and I'd just like to say that uh, Mr. Lumber is very proud to sponsor amateur sports in his community. That's terrific, Bill, but let's talk hockey. What about the girl? I don't want any horsing around with the puck in our end. As soon as you see the open man, hit him with that puck. Remember, guys, good, clean, heads-up hockey. Now, where's the game? Up here. There's something wrong with my hearing. Where's the game? Up here. Up here. What's the word? Desire. Who are we? Number one. Who are we? Number one. Yarrow, you start in goal. OK, guys, let's get out there. quick goal this time. Let's go, you guys. Let's get a first one. If there are kids out there who want to play hockey, Mr. Lumber's going to be there to support them. Well, let's hope she doesn't get creamed. All right. The referee for tonight's game is Doug Ramsey from Lakeside Motors. number WFT 479. Ladies and gentlemen, our three 
Could have been screened on that one, but I don't think so. Looks like she had a clear view. All right, folks. Looks like a Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of time. Would Joe from please come to the snack bar or present himself to the nearest usher or security guard? Fourteen-year-old I've ever seen in my entire life. Got to be a bit of a heartbreaker though for number thirty, Kathy Yarrow, her first time out. like a young Pete Mahavalich out there. Aurelia was watching the open man. Kozak snuck around, slipped it in the far side. Foley never had a chance. Back on that one shot that big number seven took from you on the other side. Oh, nice gloves. You look pretty quick. Yeah, he does. Very good shot. Number 30, Kathy Yarrow. Number 30, Okay, let's talk about the girl. There's nothing wrong with her. She can skate. She knows an elbow pad from a face guard. But let's face it, this women's lib stuff is old business. Sure, girls can play hockey, but I don't see too many of them playing for the New York Islanders. Okay, not so. The players are back.
Figure Skating Championship. These are the semifinals, and the winners will go on to... You know, both of these teams have had their scoring chances, but let's face it, all the determination in the world won't get you a point in the standings if you don't put the puck in the net. I'm sorry. That's the way I feel. And here we are, the score all tied up at one apiece, and the seconds are ticking away here at the midway point of the period. Uh, Ty, give me a break. Boring, like kissing your sister. Sure, you're still puckering your lips, but the thrill's all gone. All right, back to the action, and it's Armstrong for Aurelia. Goes, here he goes! Uberman goes after it with Guinness and first. There's a loose puck. Kozak. Had a boy, Robbie. Had a boy. And back to Kozak. And Kozak is out over his own blue line. Kozak, a quick move to the inside. Take it over back end. He shoots! He A magnificent individual effort by this young Spear Kozak. You know, we've heard a bit about this kid. 86 goals in his final year of Pee Wee. Comes from a hockey family. Brother plays Junior A over in Oshawa. You ask me, I'll tell you what I think. I think the kids are coming. So, on that note, Mr. Robert Leonard Vandemol starts taking 2-1 lead in this period. All right, folks. Press board problems, a two by four, a bracket, even a simple screw. Remember, Mr. Lambert has all that and much, much more for you. All right, back to the action. How you doing? Ready to go out there and have some fun? Looks like Ladies another change in the, in the, in the Perry Sound lineup. Kathy Coming in for Buck Whittleson is Kathy Yarrow. Now in net for Perry Sound. Okay, now that's a judgment call. But you know what I think? A mistake. I'll tell you why. First game of the season. A close contest. Let's protect our lead. Whittleson may not be fast, but he's proved that when push comes to shove, he can stop a puck. I'm sorry. That's the way I feel. <laughs> There's going to be a roughing penalty coming up for Gooberman. He got a little hot under the collar after the whistle. So with five minutes left in the period, the Mr. Lumber All-Stars are going to be playing. Let's bet that that's a pretty nervous coach, Willie Liepert, down there behind the bench, possibly regretting his decision to switch goalies at this particular point in the game. And there's a the face off. off to the right of the ferry down net. Kozak clears the puck to the ball. Guinness for Aurelia clears it for Waverly at the point. There's a skirmish in the corner. The Comes up with the puck for Aurelia. He centers. Oh, there was no one there. The clean tries to clear it. Waverly is the puck. Now Burke has the puck. It's over to Armstrong. Another shot. Yarrow picks it up. Shoots it back to Armstrong. He's alone. He's all alone. He wants the save. Thanks. You too. I mean, good game. 
Well, uh, my timing was off in the second period. Well, uh, I'll see you later. Bye. People talk, people talk when I'm not there. People got a lot to say, but I don't care. Big traps, small traps, loose traps, flapping traps. People got a lot to say, but I don't care. I don't care. Oh, I'm still working on the melody. What do you think? It's good. Those bands are always looking for material. I'd work on the melody a bit. Then you think after I work on it, I might be able to take it to Queen Street? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hi, guys. How's it going? It's a nice game, huh? Thanks. Evelyn, what are you doing here? The bus to Kingston left 20 minutes ago. Shut up, Buck. Want some more fiber? Fuck! <laughs> What's this? Uh, you pig, give us a fuck! <laughs> Come on, Buck. This will we'll all be what wearing a Kingston this winter. <laughs> Watch. Knock it off. You jerk! Evelyn! My mom got caught shoplifting. Two years ago. What did she steal? Sunglasses. And Buck and those morons made up this fairy tale that she had to go to Kingston. You know, the slammer. Can you believe that? I shouldn't let it bug me so much. It's just that it's so stupid. Because she could have just put it on her credit card. It's OK, Evelyn. Yeah? Yeah, right. So where'd you meet this guy, anyway? I told you, in school. He's a teacher. Well, what kind of teacher? A chemistry teacher. Well, what does he look like? I don't know. He's a normal-looking, reasonably attractive person. Well, what... Give me a break, Kathy. <laughs> what time are you going to be home? That's my line. OK. Well, how do I look? Oh. You look fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Bed by eight. Uh, don't let him try anything. Good. <laughs> All right. You want me to read your story, but you're going to go in the hard way. Yeah. I wish I were a little sparrow, and I had wings, and I could fly. Fly away to my one true lover, and all he'd ask, I would deny. Kathy, is Mom gonna marry somebody else? I don't know. Maybe. Well, what if she does? And then Dad comes home. I don't think Dad's going to come home, Laura.
All right. Let's talk about it. Owen Sound, 1974. They put a girl on the Pee Wee team. There's all sorts of hype. The girl chokes on depression, and she's cut. All right, could happen to anybody. But that girl's parents say, no way. The next thing you know, instead of playing hockey, they're tied up in legal battles for four years. But forget all that. Forget all that. Let's talk about right now, OK? Midland is in town tonight. They're a tough team. They like to body check. Ladies and gentlemen, the Perry Sound Rotary would like to remind you that tickets for their annual citizenship banquet are now on sale. Tickets are $20 each and include beer, dancing, and citizenship award ceremony. All proceeds will go to the Perry Sound Rotary Fund. Please join me in thanking the Perry Sound Rotary for their generosity and support. What's bugging you, anyway? What do you mean? I mean, you, you act like I'm from Mars or something. I don't believe this. You're fine. You're great, OK? Thanks. Sound, Mr. Lumber Miner Bantam All Stars take on the rough and tumble young nationals from Midland. Making an addition, building a new latrine. Come on down to Mr. Lumber and let their courteous staff help you select all your building supplies needs. All right, folks, we're almost ready for the opening face off. Kozak is at center right for Perry Sound and for Midland number 16, Farmer. And play is underway. Palmer wins the draw. Drops it back for Cowan and over to Fowler. Come on, Pump is jumped into the Parry Sound zone. It goes into the corner. Palmer scoops it and clears it around the boards for Cowan. Cowan over to Gennaro. McLean goes after the puck. He loses. And Cowan comes up with it. There's a shot. Oh, oh and a good save by Yarrow. There's a lot of activity around the crease. Kramer and Quinn go after it. There's a pile up on the board. And Kozak comes Come on, up Spear, the puck. Let's go. He skates yeah, above the board. Pass center right. There's just one man back. He gets the ball back. Well, that was something, folks. Midland puts on the heat. They get caught out of position. And Kozak waltzes on down there and bangs one home. Kozak, time, nine minutes there is a real spoiled sport down there, number 16 on the Young Nationals. All he wants to do is hang around and harass the goalie. Now, if they don't call a whistle on that, I am going to go down there personally and remove that young gentleman from the ice myself. All right, enough said. That's the way I feel. Back to the game. All right, Kozak has come off the ice, and Kramer is in at center, and the puck is dropped. McLean fires the puck into Midland territory. It's picked up by Gennaro and fired along the boards for Cowan. And Midland breaks out with a three on two. Hollinger is picked from behind as the puck is dumped into Parry Sound territory. And there's more action in the Parry Sound creek. Let's face it, the rapid one. All right, the puck is cleared back to the point for Gennaro and over to Cowan. Cowan can't get a shot away. He pounds on the shot. And now it's Quinn for Midland, skating around the back of the net. Guberman flattens Forrest on the board as the puck is cleared to the blue line. Oh, what's this? Forrest takes the ball and she tackles him like a football player. Oh, and Kozak is coming off the bench and he's going after Forrest. Don't do me any favors, okay? And here's something interesting. 
Celtic boots. It looks like a game is conducted and being handed out to Yarrow, Kozak, and Morris. Now that'll be a bit of a blow to the Mariscal. I'll tell you something, folks. Kozak, Forrester, okay, they deserve it. Yarrow, a question mark. Okay, so it's a judgment call. She did bring that forward down, but I think she was provoked. I can't help it. That's, that's the way I feel. Ladies and gentlemen, we are missing a child. If someone knows the whereabouts of Joey Kinsella, please come to the sack bar or have him present himself to the nearest usher or security guard. You know, I would have expected this from Bradley, but not from you. Will you look at me when I'm talking to you? Well, you want to throw it away, Spear? Huh? You want to throw it away like your brother? You want to end up playing on some fifth-rate Junior A franchise? You know, Bradley could have played anywhere he wanted to. He could have landed some fancy contract on an NHL expansion team. But he couldn't stay out of trouble. He didn't have the brain spear. You got him. Use him. Who's from the city that come up here in the summer and tear the place apart? I'm from the city. Yeah, I know. I look at you. <laughs> what? No, seriously. What did you mean? I don't know. <laughs> My brother used to work here in the summer on the boats. Anyway, there's this big cruiser. Kept breaking down. Owner made a stink and got Brad fired. So he loads up a boat and takes it for a spin around town for fun, you know. And when he gets back, there's just loads of people standing around. My dad tries to go after him with a belt like he's a little kid or something. Right in front of everybody, Brad turns around and decks him. What happened? Nothing. He left town a week later. Let's go for a spin. What are you doing here, anyway? I mean, what do you want to play hockey for? I like it. What about you? I don't know. I'm supposed to be in the NHL by the time I'm 17. When I'm 17, I'm going to live with my dad in Vancouver. He's got a house on the beach. Oh, that's nice.
Well, this is it, I guess. I guess. Well, I'll uh, see you around. Well, I'll see you at practice. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you go first. No, you go first. All right, we'll go first together. I told you about and when I had the date with should Laura and I disappear oh, after dinner Kathy you are gonna give me an anxiety attack I want to explain something to you Willie I'm running a business here business and when people see Mr. Lumber All-Stars on the ice, they think about my business, and that's the name of the game. What are you saying, Bill? Mrs. Lumber. Page three, look at that. Mrs. Lumber jilted by young nationals. Oh, this is harmless, Bill. You know Bob Jameson, Chamber of Commerce? Comes up to me and asks how the Lumberettes are going to do against North Bay. I've had half a dozen calls from parents asking if their daughters are going to be given a tryout. So what? I want you to take her off the team. There's no negotiating here, Willie. Because if not, I withdraw sponsorship. And if I do, trust me, you can kiss North Bay goodbye. even say good morning to your old man? Hi. I spoke to Mr. Moss about you yesterday. Yeah? Uh, he was quite impressed with you. In spite of what happened the other day. And he's gone to the trouble of speaking to some NHL big shots on your behalf. Personal friends of his. And he's asked him to come and see you play against North Bay. That's great. <laughs> Practice.
nobody can tell you how to play it. Kathy, can I talk to you for a sec? Buck, take over for me, will you? Guys, set up some two-on-ones. What's going on? Kathy got the axe. Why? Mr. Lumber. Come on, you tomato heads, move it. Kathy, you okay? Kathy! I don't feel like talking right now. Come on, Alger. Figure it out. Who else is gonna stick up for her if we don't? Besides, she's really good. Come on, you guys. It'll be great. They do it all the time in the majors. Buck, forget it. I can't go on strike. My dad's got 150 bucks on the game. I say we go for it. Screw North Bay. That's right. We just say we won't play without her. Moss will come crawling on his hands and knees, begging us to play. He'll give us all the girls we want. What if it doesn't work? Then I guess we forfeit the tournament. My dad'll kill me. Ollinger, it's not fair, and you know it. What do you think, Spear? I can't forfeit the tournament. How's it going? I don't get you, Spear. What? You should have stood up for her. They would have listened to you. This chicken is special, Ellis. I'm not playing for you. It's right in front of you, pumpkin. Here. There you go. Would you like some more, Martin? I understand you're somewhat of a hockey player, Kathy. But that raises a few eyebrows, huh? Uh, Martin, would you please pass the Brussels sprouts? I used to play a little myself, way back when. Old Shifty Nelson, they used to call me. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because I used to play on every shift. Do I have to listen to this crap? Kathy! You apologize to Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson? I thought it was Shifty. <laughs> Kathy, don't you dare leave this table! Yeah. Sit down, Nelson! Kathy! How could you do that? I hope you feel better because I am in and humiliated. How could you be so selfish, Kathy? Me? Shh, talk quietly. He's a creep. You have no right to make that judgment. I'm going to my room. You are not the first person in the world to suffer a difficult letdown, Kathy. You'll get over it. Get away from me. You don't understand anything. You think Wayne Gretzky's a baseball player? Oh, Kathy. God, I wish Dad was here. Hi, is Mom asleep? Mm-hmm. Spirit, come here, take a look at this.
Bradley's hat trick in Slumville. Remember? They couldn't touch him. Remember that? Put it out of your mind. I told you, hockey players are goons. <clears throat> That's the spirit. <laughs> Big traps, small traps, new traps. Go for it, back in traps. People got a lot to say, but I don't <laughs> care. Let's get out of here. And go where? Queen Street. Seriously. My cousin will put us up. It'll be great. OK. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. OK. This place is a hole, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Let's go! Okay! 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 okay. We're going to Queen Street. We're, okay? Well, I, I wanted to wish you good luck against North Bay. Hey. Where's the game? Okay. North Bay? I'll see you around. Bye. 
Okay, North Bay. What's the secret? Training facilities? Better players? Coaching? Uh-uh. None of the above. Psychology. That's the ticket. They've won this tournament for a number of consecutive seasons. Now that's a lot of credit in the bank. Now our boys have to rise to the occasion and forget about seasons gone by. Okay, how do we turn the table? Poor checking, aggressive play on the forward line, good goal tending, solid defense. Do you want to go shopping what with else? me later? We can't afford to take I have a very exciting morning planned in the frozen food All section. All right, folks, where does Bump Johnson go? No, thanks. You want to go to the game? Mr. Lumber, and that's because Mr. Lumber has all your home I'll drive you if you want. One convenient location. So come on down today. Hockey to sucks. Press for the Spear. Come on, it's time to go. Spear! These guys from North Bay. Come on, Have some Gatorade over here, please. Come on, who's got the water? I have it. That's the problem. Hey, Guberman, where's the game? Up here. Yeah, here. Quick, Guberman. Pass me some uh, white tape, please, white tape. Thanks a lot. Pass me my third stick over there. Yeah. Someone pass my goalie stick too. Goober, man, give me my glove. All right, where's Spear? I don't know. All right, who's got my jaw? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew Some some people I wanted to meet. Where's your stuff? What? Where's your stuff? Come on, let's go. Um, what are you doing here? You got a game. I know I've got a game. If you're in a hurry, there's no way I'm gonna make it. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, we are still looking for the warehouse. Where's Spear? He's not in the dressing room?
nothing you can do. Tremendous excitement here in the air today as the teams converge on center ice for the opening face-off. Referee Doug Brands is set to drop the puck. Where's the game? Come on, Buck Ollinger, where's the game? Wait a second, folks. There seems to be some sort of disturbance just around the Parry Sound bench. Come on, you guys, come on. Where's the game? Up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the word? Yeah, come on. Who are we? Now, they're, they're chanting something. I can't quite make it out from up here. I, uh, we'll be right back after this commercial message. What's going on? I think it's called a strike, though. Strike for four? Well, unofficially, I'd say it's for the girl. Get out there and talk to her. Well, what would you like me to say, Bill? I don't give it to him. Just, just get him out of the ice. Where's the game? Look, don't blow it. With me. You're supposed to be in the NHL by the time you're 17, remember? I know. Daryl. I'm changing the washroom.